It isn't an easy job to be a parent, especially a great one. And on top of that, imagine trying to be a great single widowed father of six. So what is it like, really? This is a question only one person in the world that I know can answer. My stepfather, Casey Keith Crane. Though when meeting Casey for the first or even third time, one would probably never know this. He wears a smile ear to ear as if life has never done him a single ounce of harm. You get the love you give, and this man never stops giving it. He is my hero. When I feel down or think that my day couldn't possibly get any worse, I call Casey. And even though he probably has a million things going on and two little hyperactive toddlers crawling all over him, he takes the time to listen. He puts life in a different perspective for me and always changes my mood for the better. He gives me hope that, girl, everything will be alright. We are always here for you. Casey has sacrificed nearly everything in his life for his undying love for my mother, who cancer took from us three years ago. The wealth, the fancy cars, beach houses, status, luxurious vacations, and his business. This man traded it all in to try to save my mother's life and build a family with her. Unfortunately, there are many things in life that are not our decision and are completely out of our control. You can do so much good for so many people and still lose what you value the most. If you ask Casey if he would do it all over again, even for the same results, he would say yes, in a heartbeat. To live your life with purpose and knowing that there is something more waiting for you, or that there is somebody out there struggling harder than you are and could use your help, is something I feel a lot of us lose sight of. Casey lives his life so purpose-driven, first God, then family. He lives to help others, even if he doesn't quite see himself that way. His big heart has grown even larger since losing my mother. The kind words, prayers, and calm presence that Casey has to offer those in need is incredible. Maybe the most broken are put through all of their pain and suffering for a reason, to help those who think they couldn't possibly endure such trials, and to reassure them that yes, indeed, they can. Meet Kenzie and Kaden. These are my two little wild half-siblings that are now five and three. You can disregard the half, though. I love them more than life itself. Kaden was just 10 days old when my mother found out that she had stage 4 colon cancer. We call him the miracle baby. Kenzie was not even 2, yet still remembers my mother so vividly. She talks about how pretty and sweet she was all the time. The pictures of my mom that line the hallways and fill all of the mantelpieces in our house I think helps her remember her even more too. My stepfather keeps her alive in their memories by telling them stories of my mom and how much she loves them. They visit her gravesite often and bring flowers and cards and love balloons that they like to send up to heaven for her. Losing a mother does one of two things to a family. It destroys it or makes its bond grow even stronger. Fortunately, it's the latter for our family. Times get tough for Casey, and though it's been three years, he's still adjusting to this new lifestyle. He says that when it gets hard, he turns on Christian radio. This really interests me coming from the guy who knows everything about music and loves his classic rock. He says the word it preaches and the instrumentals get him right back on track. There is nothing more that Casey wants out of life than to see his kids thrive and grow independently. Just as all of us six kids know we have him to lean on for support, I hope he knows that he has us just as 